Hi, Mike Woods here from the Expert Partnership and, and welcome to this, my, my next project. So what we've got here is we're in the Brecon Beacons in the National Park in South Wales and we've got two old barns. They're called threshing barns and in here we've just got a side storage. So if I turn you around, what you'll see here is we've got the original farmhouse. There would have been sort of outhouses here, sort of long houses, they're called the barns could have been pigsties and storage and over here we had another long barn so these barns have been converted as part of a planning application that was submitted in 2003 and because the whole application was submitted and approved and work started in 2003 2004 i guess the planning is live so even though these barns have not yet been converted and we're now in 2021 just the planning is live so these barns can be started anytime and under the original planning approval in 2003 so let's have a look inside now here's what i wanted to mention to you i've come here today because i've got a copy of the plans that were approved in 2003 and the scheme is showing that from this sort of section line here to the left is a three bedroom three bedroom property dwelling and from this sort of point here to the right again is a three bedroom property now even though the plans have been approved by planning and an architect's drawn them i've picked up that the there are errors on these plans they're not quite drawn exactly to scale i've done a, a bit of work on the photocopy because obviously now i've got pdfs and I've tried scaling, I've done some check measurements and I've realized that there are some errors on here. So I've come up here to do measurements myself and then I can get the drawings prepared exactly as, as we need to be building them. Because don't forget my stage here now is building regs and I'm gonna be building them. So even though I've got what we call a schematic here, I've noticed there's some errors. So do not rely on the architect's plans, get things checked. Let's go and have a look inside. Here we're going to have a large glazed opening. This is the entrance into this um, barn area, or rather this is going to be the, the kitchen, dining and lounge. Now part of the planning is to keep as many of the original features. So you can see we've got these A-frame trusses. Um, we have to keep them, which is great because we want to keep those facilities. And we've also got what we call arrow slit windows. Um, these would have been ventilation for the threshing barn but we'll have to create some glazing inside because of course we need to get this area as light as possible we can't put many new openings in we have to keep the original openings so um, over this area here there's going to be a stairway which is going to lead up to an area up there which is going to be a bedroom off the stairway to the left into that area which just showed on the left hand side is to be two bedrooms a bedroom up and bedroom down so we'll be creating an opening in this wall here to go through and the stairs will go through into that void area there so we're going to have one double bedroom up there double bedroom here double bedroom over there if i take you into the next door barn well while i'm here as we'll show you this so this is the area here of the the two bedrooms. So there'll be a bedroom in here. That's going to be a there's a ensuite bath bathroom as well. So in here we have an area of sort of six meters by four meters, so a huge area. And there's going to be a bit of a feature upstairs in that barn because again there's another A-frame truss. It gives us a reduced headroom, but it is sufficient enough for have to have the character. If I take you into this barn. So what's important to understand when you're doing this stuff is to try and get a handle on the quality of the structure. So if I show you here, we've got 450 millimeter thick solid stone walls. These joints, we'll get them cleaned out and repointed because of course when this is finished, we want it to look really nice um, because the values of these properties are going to be quite significant here in the Brecon Beacons. Again, through the opening, which is going to be a double height opening. This is an original opening which we keep. So as you can see, this barn area is going to be brighter than the other one because we have this large opening. It's larger than the next door. Again, this is going to be a lounge area. And then in this area, we have the kitchen with a utility behind. 
and there'll be a stairway going up into this corner and above here is going to be another bar, uh, double bedroom uh, with a bathroom and I say underneath there will be an open plan kitchen and then this is where this one differs we have to create an opening in this wall over here because there's a story and a half barn here which I'll just take you through so here we have this sort of story and a half barn existing opening which has to stay and this area here as per the drawings is for a double bedroom two bathrooms and another double bedroom coming in from this left hand side now i've got a dilemma here because this area of this floor is 500 millimeters lower than that main area now if i look at what i've got here i'm asking myself can i actually rearrange this to have space up above another bedroom up because obviously i've got those trusses up there to consider in terms of headroom but the consideration that I have is when I've got two bathrooms here, I've got a drain to take away into the centre of the courtyard. There's a drainage point that leads out to a septic tank. Now, have I got the fall? Now, I've deduced that I don't have the fall from that manhole up to here sufficiently. I need to raise this floor. So if I raise this floor equal to the floor of the main dwelling, I then eat my way into the headroom here. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any space above there. So that's something I'll be working on. So I hope you found that helpful. This is the first video that I'll put together for the series. And as normal, I'll give you videos of every stage of the way. So I hope you find that helpful. Any questions as usual, just put them in the box below. Don't forget to hit subscribe on YouTube and hit the notification button so you can get any further videos from me. All the very best. Bye-bye.